based success stories. This is Cletus Clay. Made entirely in Sheffield, it's now facing the ultimate test. It's being played by Britain's biggest games fans at the Eurogamer Expo. This is the first time we've ever shown any of our games really at a public event. I don't think we're nervous, I think we're quite proud actually. When we've shown it to people before, individually or at companies, and we have had the somewhat natural assumption that it's probably sort of a, a game for, for guys, teenagers and 20-somethings. But in fact, it's, it's really appealed to a lot of women as well. The clay models you see in the game are made in a small office in Sheffield. Tuna Technologies is an independent firm that's managed to be successful despite the recession. The game industry at the moment is in a state of flux, whereby a lot of the old traditional games companies are struggling a little bit. For ourselves, as a small independent studio, um, we've now got the opportunity to exploit um, our new ideas and be more creative uh, in ways that we could never have done before. So for us, it's actually a very exciting time. Oh, I think I no. took him out. No, I have nothing to kick. Oh. Oh. So the Eurogamer Expo is do or die for games like Cletus Clay. The die-hard fans will be back at the Royal Armouries tomorrow to test it out. London will have to wait until later this week to see the games second-hand.